Hey guys, my name is Stephanie Farron. I'm the technology facilitator at David W. Butler High School, and this quick Tech Talk tutorial is how to get started with Canvas to set up your grade categories so that you can use Grade Passback with PowerSchool. So this is a good rule of thumb, even if you don't think you're going to use this right now, if you change your mind later on, then if you already have this set up, it will be a great tool for you. Step one is you wanna log into your Canvas, go to a Canvas course. You're going to need to do this for each Canvas course that you teach. Um, so you wanna choose your 2022, 2023 course. And then once you click your course, you want to come down and find assignments. Now, if you're looking at Ms. Peck's course, you'll see that her assignments are hidden. She's got an eyeball here. Please do not panic. Remember that these items can be hidden. This is in settings. You can hide these from the students. They still work. They don't have to be turned on for them to see it. Sometimes it's actually confusing for them, um, but, but you have that option and we'll talk about the more good practices in another video. So Ms. Peck has already set up her assignments for grade pass back and we'll show you what they should look like when they're correct. And then I'll show you what you'll see if you have not. Once you've set it up, you only have to run it once, although it is a good rule of thumb that anytime we have a power school maintenance weekend, which is coming up, that you may have to run this again because sometimes power school having an update, it breaks the link with Canvas and power school. So, um, and if you'll look at the prompts, you will see when it tells you it works or not works. So for example, this course has not been set up yet. So it tells you right at the top in red, right screaming at you that you need to import your assignment groups to allow pass back. And it tells you where the directions are if you need it and you forget where my video is. All right, so once she's done that, if you import course content, it's gonna come on as imported course content. It may also be under assignments. You'll notice beside each of the categories and assignments, it will tell you whether or not it will sync with PowerSchool. So all these assignments that she has right here will not sync with PowerSchool. Can she still assign them? Absolutely. Can she send them over to PowerSchool? Nope, not right now. All right, so let's scroll down through her list and look through a couple more so you can see some ideas. It doesn't matter if it's a quiz or anything else, they all show up in here. Here's another good important category, imported assignments. So if you import content from your previous course, they all pop into imported assignments and you may have multiple imported assignments. Again, imported assignments, even if you had grade pass back set up last year, you have to set it up again this year. It will not sync to PowerSchool. And it kind of tells you that. All right, let's keep going down. Obviously, you guys don't have a lot. So at the very bottom of your page, you're going to start seeing categories. The categories should be matching what CMS has already set up for us in PowerSchool. Final exam, midterm, prepare, perform, and rehearse. These all have this little door here and an arrow, so you know these are the assignments that do pass back. It also tells you that. So anything that you drag and drop into these categories will pass back into PowerSchool if you set it up. It doesn't automatically do it unless you turn on the auto function. And again, we're gonna have like best practices in a later video. So these items that she's already dropped in here are going to be set up to be able to pass back. You'll have this once you set up pass back. So I'm gonna click over to another um, class that has not been set up yet. You can click the directions once you click assignments, or you can simply come over here and click the three dots right at the very top right of the assignments page, right past assignment, and you come down and you click import assignment groups. It's even red, so you know what to do. So it's going to open a new window. It says it's scheduled. That's all you have to do. It's going to do this for you. Okay, when it is done, you might have to hit refresh a couple times. Remember, it still goes in this queue just with all the imports and everything else. It will automatically put those imported assignment groups. They will appear at the bottom of your page. So you might have to hit uh, refresh a couple times. It could take up to 24 hours, but that's how you put your groups in. Once you have your groups in, then you simply can do one of two things. You can grab an assignment and move it. Okay. You can click a category. I'm going to come back up to her imported category so you can see these. And you can click the three dots and you can hit moved contents. And you can move the contents wherever you want. So you can take all these assignments and move them all to prepare. And then hit move and it will move them all at once. This is great for your imported assignments because we're going to have the most prepares, the least performs, right? So you can move them all at once. It's a really good rule of thumb. As soon as you do your import, come in and move your categories. All right, so I'm going to have another video to show you good practices.